Hello everyone. The date today is 2019-0105, the first Saturday of January. And today we'll be doing, well I'll be doing, uh, I guess free-handed one-point and two-point perspective. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I missed it again, didn't I? Yeah. Mostly because of New Year's stuff. So that, that was that, but well, we'll just get into this. So, what do I mean by three-handed? That means that... Uh, there we go. So, three-handed meaning... So, I'll make... Uh, I'll just do... First, like, here is my vanishing point. So, for whatever point perspective, you want to have a vanishing point. The number of vanishing points depends on the number, like the points of perspective you're doing. If you're doing one point perspective, you only need one vanishing point. And so yeah, now I can begin to draw my square, three-handed, with no tool assistant. And then, if I eyeball it correctly, okay, so it goes out this way. And with that, yeah, I think that works. So yeah, that that's my square in what does kind of look weird. Maybe the, the vanishing point actually appears more down there. So so if I uh, erase, oh, you can see that one. Uh, oh, why am I not in sketch? So there we go. This yeah okay everything's fine. So, that's the vanishing point, that's the vanishing point, and this is my square that I painted with uh, basic 5 size, um, and this is pencil 2. Uh, basically, what one point perspective does is you have one perspective that you do this for. <laughs> I don't know why I'm teaching you. I'm just showing you that I can do this. I'm not supposed to teach you much. I'm just supposed to... You, you should have figured that out already. Considering the fact that I do basically nothing here. Um, but... Let's see. Yeah, this works, I guess. Another one on the other side. So, we go... We draw a line there. I start here. Oh yeah, that's what I should do instead of... Uh, if I can make it straight... Then... Yep. As for sketch, that seems reasonable. Erase, please. I should get my erasers. There we go. Much easier. So, that's... This is one. This is two. So that's what it looks like in perspective. Now, let's try something weird. We'll try it from the bottom. Meaning, so this is one. Uh, yeah, I'll just... I don't know why I'm curving like that. Um, yeah. So how's everyone's day been? As usual, the question I ask. The new year happened. It's 2019 now. I almost messed up by saying 2018, but it's not 2018 anymore. It's 2019. So yeah, it's 2019 now. What's everyone going to do? I mean, I guess I could say, like, how was everyone's 2018? Mine was alright. Um, yeah. Fine, I would say. Fine. And I have finished my next rectangle. Rectangular prism. I won't say cube because it's not a cube. They are, are they, are, I don't know, maybe this one kind of looks like a cube. But, 
yeah. So that's three cubes in one point perspective. Now, uh, let's switch gears. Two, two point perspective. So we'll put this as one. So we'll, put, we'll shorten it to PP. That means that one point perspective. Uh, so now we'll do two point perspective. I was going to do three point perspective, but then I thought it might get crap. Actually, I might do three point perspective. I don't know. We'll see the time. We'll see based on timing. So in two point perspective, you have two vanishing points, which I guess I'm going to have to use over there because I did not leave enough room up there. So two vanishing points. I'll say one is here and another is here. I don't want to draw them out. You could draw theoretically, draw them outside to, uh, well, outside the page. I'm not doing that because, well, it, it wouldn't be very good illustrative effect of, like, what, how, you know, making sure all things measure out correctly. So, say one, we'll, we'll try in three different areas. One cube is close, wait, one cube, one cube for each of the two points closest, and then at least as close as possible, and the other one, which is like in the middle, which is the stereotypical view of like two point perspective, or the prototypical. I don't know. <laughs> is it stereotypical? Is it prototypical? Is it archetypical? Mm, I'm not sure. So for all of them, you're st you're gonna have to start with one line, one line that defines each of those. And I'm starting with a line because uh, I would think it's easier to, like, oh, starting with a line gives a baseline of like where each uh, square works. Or no, not square, cube, where each cube resides. And then you can fill in the gap. So for here, because the, you know this is the closer one, you can easily just go like, yep, there we go. And I'll probably close it off. That's one for that side. For this one, more like this way. And does that seem right? No. No, the bottom one does not seem right. Or at least the bottom thing. Yeah, again. Start from here. Ta da! And that's good. So you do that. So I guess now I can, you know, move on to the other parts. You can tell I'm at a loss of words today because I have no idea what to talk about. Uh, if eyeballing this one. Go think that way. Yeah, it's really hard to do it with a pen because if it, if I had a ruler, that would be easy. But I don't have a ruler, so it's hard. That's the hard way. Go so that side. It would go. In here, and then there, okay, if I made a line, let's try visualizing that line, <laughs> oh, I keep making those bends, like, based on the tablet area, the tablet area for mine is not that large, so I keep having to make that bend. Which is why you keep seeing those bends. Well, I can at least now make the bottom part, or no, not the bottom part, the closing off side. Yeah. So, still don't know what to talk about. Um, well, I guess what I could do, as I said before, Project. What is my project going to be? Well, that looks weird. That looks like a weird square, but okay. Um, 
cube, cube, the cubes. Not squares, cubes. Um, that one very extreme. So. How do I figure this out? Um, hmm. So that's that's how the basic line moving this way. So if I do that and I do this. then it should all be right, correct? And if I just mirror that, mostly, and do it like that, these these vanishing points are rough. They're not meant to be actual vanishing points, because if I did actual vanishing points, they would look weird and not, not good. So... I'm only saying that because I don't... Vanishing points are hard. Well, in the sense that I, I'm not working from like, I'm not working. I'm working digitally, but I'm not using any of the tools of the digital artists. Like you know, the actual assistant tools or a ruler or something. You know how most people actually probably do perspective. No, I'm re I'm redoing this line. Uh, let's see. It should mostly be like. Stable. Okay. Right. Uh, save. Save that. Now we finished two point perspective. So that's a point, one point perspective, three cubes, one mighty, wait, one on the left, one on the right, and one. At, on the bottom of the vanishing point. Uh, now two point perspective. Uh, you have two points here. Okay, maybe I can highlight that better. Two points there, that's one point, two, and three cubes. One, which is closest to this one. Uh, one in the middle, which should be equidistant between the two, and one that's closest to the other vanishing point. Um, out of all of them, I would say this is the best cube. I don't know why. how did I do that so well. I'm not sure. Uh, this one seems okay. Like I, I would probably do this the space. And this one looks really bad. And I think that's because I didn't try. I tried to do. I didn't actually map out the uh, where each line goes. Or maybe it's too close and it should. I don't know. It's hard to explain. So, iterated design. That, that was okay. First one project, uh, project thing. What I'm gonna do? Project that like visual novel-ish game thing. Using the art skills that I have, I'm gonna put that in a game uh, in 2020. Right now, we're just coming up with the ideas, designing it, and stuff. And then this is the preliminary. Just me talking to myself. Meeting. I'm the meeting of one. It's just me. Um, hmm. what else? Uh, oh, right, iterated design. How am I going to do iterated design on these cubes? Well, I probably should not do iterated design on these cubes. I should probably wait till next week to, I don't know, get, go over all, like, like, have a look at it at a fresh point of view and then go from there. So, what I can do today with iterated design or iterate Iterated drawing. What? What is that line? No. Here we go. Uh, I'll put. I'll call this I. Iterated drawing. ID. Iterated. Maybe I can do like it. It doctor. <laughs> or yeah, it doctor. Whatever. <laughs> iterated is a drawing. So iterated drawing. What am I gonna do? drawing today, hmm, I don't know, since we, we focused on cubes, we can do cubes, the cubes 2D uh, variant, which is the square, or tank or prism or whatever. So uh, I'm going to draw 10 squares, 
first. Wait, well, I'm going to draw two squares first, then keep drawing two squares and try to improve on top of that. So first square. Does that look like a good square? No, that looks like a rectangle. Right now, I shouldn't ju judge yet. Two squares first. Okay, so this one, two rectangular. It, like the sides are not the same. This one, um, lines gotta be a little bit smoother. So uh, let's try that now. Okay, I uh, I made the same mistake again. Rectangle. Maybe the top one can be rectangle or the bottom one can be squares. And now I'm just drawing all over the same place. No reason. Uh, I don't entirely know the hotkeys yet. So that's why I keep, you know, handling this. Pretty sure, like, you could do right click, but it's you can't do right click when when there's only a trackpad. So a little bit more confident of lines. Okay, almost done with the square. So that's the next square. So yeah, it seems a little better. It's rectangle, uh, okay. Needs to go a bit faster. Okay, so generally, I can kind of imagine the shape. The problem is I'm not doing it fast enough and I'm not doing it more confident. So each line needs to be a little bit more confident and I should stop doing that. It should match up, so. Okay, rectangle, almost done. Well, I did it slightly faster, and it does seem, you know, at least more reasonably better. But now square. Okay, square. Not not fast enough. Not very fast. But the lines seem to be a little bit more accurate. Oh, oh no, that's bad. Don't go in closing it. Don't don't overfill. Just close it normally. Um. So yeah. Uh. That's my third set. So maybe I should number these. So this is one, two, three, four, uh, five. And these are rectangles, and these are squares. So, rectangle number four. Mm. That does not seem like a good rectangle. Yeah, I don't know. It's more trapezoidal than anything because it's moving in. If it was in perspective, that would be fine, but it's not in perspective. We assume it's not because 2D things can't really be in perspective. Or can they? I actually don't know. Oh, oh well. Uh, let's see. Also, if you're wondering why I'm, you know, so hard to talk right now, it's because, uh, I don't know, it's been a while since I've you know, done stuff and... I don't know how to get back into this. If you haven't looked back at my channel for a while, maybe somebody has commented on it by now, and that's going to be weird. <laughs> Hopefully, they think I'm dead so that they don't continue watching my videos until I'm dead. And then people can watch my videos. Because then I won't be making any videos. And nobody will be around to, I don't know, judge me? Nobody will be allowed to really hurt me. Emotional. But sometimes we need a little bit of emotional wounds so that, you know, we can improve.
At least with criticisms, of course. Now, don't don't think that all criticism is fine. The negative criticism, destructive criticism, there's constructive criticism and destructive criticism. If your criticism doesn't, you know, have the chance to improve somebody's life, then it's not really good criticism. And that's that was my rectangle. I finished my fifth rectangle and finishing my square. Okay. So, looking back at this, um, square is generally okay, I guess. Last one seems reasonable, and it has gotten improved, so I guess it improves. Rectangles, uh, it's kind of all over the place. Doesn't seem five, let's see, five? Mm, okay, between one and five. Yeah, I would say there's an improvement. Oh crap, no, oh, wow. Oh, oh. uh, between one and five, it's, uh, yeah, good. And between one and five, well, four rectangles, good. Uh, squares, yeah, okay. Squares were consistently okay, whereas rectangles were all over the place. So I guess there's an improvement there. So, yeah, I guess that, that's all for me. Uh, goodbye.